Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Okay, we have 18 days left on the clock. I'm pretty sure this is the last chapter. We're about to be kicked out of the kingdom. Let's make it the best kingdom we can possibly do before that happens. So, we've already helped out Gunther, though for some reason we still have Ampanot level to get to? I thought we were already there. Good personal bonds here. So... Alice is apparently not up for some reason. We just helped her immensely. Okay, but apparently we can't do anything with her. Let's look at the calendar here. Alice personal bond. Do we just we probably just need to talk to her, right? How would we not have full confidant level with her? Okay, it's gonna jump right into something here. Hey you! I mean, we just need to finish it up like hey. this. Let's see you recovered off the business of Cyrus. Cyrus? One of those. May not have been an elegant solution, but... Couldn't be better. Can't explain it. I feel fine. Completely fine. For the first time in many years, I feel at peace. Or more, le more than less, at the very least. Like the draining fog is lifted. It's amazing. Aren't you afraid there'll be more like him? Maybe. But as far as I know, Cyrus was an extremist. And no sane, Sheridan power player in making would ever associate with him, especially now that he's dead. You know, it's funny. I originally came here by accident. It was an unlucky stopgap. I was trying to smuggle myself where? I don't know, somewhere out there just to be far away, constantly on the run. And crazily enough, that broken vase may have been the most poignant event of my life. Ha! I'm really glad I met you, Kay. You gave me something different than a stopgap. You gave me a home. You gave me something to care for. Thanks, sweetheart. Thanks for everything. For being there when it mattered. Alright, how does Kasun feel about that broken vase? It should be, yeah, it really should pay Oxen for that that broken vase. Eh. Nah. Oh, come on, man. Why not? She broke it. Kind of makes sense if she pays for it. Okay, so now we're up. Thank you. 17 days left. I really want to know what's up with Griff, but it doesn't look like we have an option for this right now. He's at the pier. Let's check the calendar. Could be a bug. Nope, he's got a day off at the pier. He's probably fishing or something. Let him have it. Let him have it. Signy, we should be all done with, right? I think we verified that, but yeah, personal bond is maxed out. Thank you. Should say the same thing for Signy. No, it's blocked. Um, We can totally talk to her at the pier. Let's do it. It's so weird. It's got to be a bug the way this is set up. Okay, so now we talk to her about her totem animal. How's it feel to finally know your beast? Greatness! Unnatural. I've wanted this for so long, yet now it's like a new sky is open above me. A new sense to know the world with. And so it ends. I have my answer. I am a Ruttel. Sounds good to me. Yes, he asked me, that suits you perfectly. You know, I never thought about it before. You found your beast, right? What happens now? You've been heading back west? I swore my oath to find my beast, but there is also the matter of the duckling, yes? Will not abandon the duckling until he too finds himself, not as a hunter, but as a king. Right. That may take some time. Do you not know about the whole not really being of royal blood thing? Because that kind of, kind of came up. Kindness for a kindness, yes, though I fear mine should be but an ounce of the one duckling showed me. I may never repay my debt fully, but know this. I can finally take my place in the tribe. I can return home, all thanks to the duckling. Aw, that's sweet. No. Not a duckling. I shall err no longer, for the truth lies bare now. You are something more, much, much more. A proud, soaring dragon, rising not on the wings of arrogance, but trust. A hero. Uh, that is high praise coming from you, Signy. That is high, high praise. From the depths of my soul and from the generations of my ancestors. Thank you. All right. So she's no longer coming to call us Duckling? That's just going to be so weird. Personal bond goes stronger. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk to Griff. We got to find out what his thing is, right? We got to find this out. I'm so, so, so curious. Griff, let's, uh, let's spend some time, dude. For great justice. Yeah, he's probably got a quest. Oh, damn it. We have to do emotes. Emote, emote, emote. Okay, I thought we were... I wasn't paying attention. That was silly of me. <sighs> Beat Griffin really knows what he's doing. Oh, wait, was this... Does that actually get us there? 
I wonder what Grandpa was like with the sword. Well, that's right, I can always ask him, can't I? Silly and dead business. You sure you were not followed? I'm an expert at everything you can think of. I can- Huh. What? Trust there were no issues. I respectfully disagree. No issues. All the innocence. You know how hard it is to move that kind of volume without headache? That and the castle armor isn't exactly a convenient point of delivery. Oh no. Yes, my bad. You know my meaning. Indeed, not a single soul, just as you asked and graciously paid for. The very Loren lady, the villagers, they're none the wiser. That's not entirely true, but here beyond this, the Golden One saw me, but doesn't care. Don't think he cares about anything. Oh, Levant. Okay. Excellent. Want to avoid any possible ruckus for now? Tell me, does Kay pardon young Lord Loren No. What? No, no. And I did not take well to tattling. Are we clear? Naturally, naturally. Customer satisfaction is imperative in my line of work. I'll be discreet. Very discreet. <laughs> ah. Watch your tone. What was that blasted noise supposed to mean, pray tell? I'm sorry, this old cloak and dagger on me. It's almost like you're some kind of villain, you know? So different from your normal uptight self, Mr. Knight. I'm surprised. No, no, no. Don't give me that look. I'll show myself out. Pleasure doing business with you, Master Griffith. Okay, Griff, what's up? What? What on earth is going on? It's like he's planning a surprise party or something. Kind of what it gives me the impression of. Here I thought it was a freaking werewolf. He's just planning a party the whole time. That's kind of silly, but let's do it. Let's go. Right there. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. If I were an unidentified something and an unknown something else, where would I be? Well, when you put it that way, that sounds like impossible to find out. You just ask him. Huh? Oh, what's this? Judging from the trails and dust, something heavy must have moved from here... From here place? From this place? From here place here? No, okay, hold on, my brain just broke. Hold on. Okay, let, let's... Move from reading brain to interpretive brain, all right? Judging from the trails and dust, something heavy must have been moved from here not so long ago. Whatever you're looking for, it's not here. However, upon closer inspection, you find... Oh, for the love of... Well, I'll be damned. Griffith's going to have some explaining to do. Okay, you're going to tell us what the hell it is? I'm so freaking curious right now. What, 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 where? What, what, no... It's not his day. Goram, piece of... Okay, well, we can go talk to the prospector and burn a day there. Because Griff's gone, right? No, Personal Bond Castle. We can totally still get there. Personal Bond Castle. For some reason, doesn't have a freaking mark over him, but... Yeah, go into the castle, talk to Griff. He's got some explaining to do. Let's let him explain. And the matter? What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? What? Okay, am I missing something? Griffith's secret. Confront Griffith in private. Oh, you have to confront him at the pier on Friday. Damn it. What day is today? Today's Saturday. His day off is at the pier, so I can only get him on his day off. So we've got to burn one, two, three, four, five, six days. Son of a biscuit. Okay, well, that's fine, I suppose. We've got to burn six days. We'll down, be down to day ten then, right? Yeah, okay. So, talk to Boz, I guess, and burn a day. So, hey, hey, Luca. Oh my. Got Papa so gloomy. Let's find out. Spend some time. Though, that's actually probably not a quest day. It's probably just a moat day. Moat, moat, moat. Moat, 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 moat. Okay. Emoting's fine. We can emote. Then Boz goes and stares off in the distance and fine. That's right, because he got a letter and he just reacted very, very poorly to it. Okay. Look at our days now. We can talk to Theo. Let's talk to Theo. Why not? Maybe he's got his 
business up and running. He's now a hairdresser to the stars or whatever. He's in the armory. Theo, my man. Hello. <laughs> Fantastic. It's all thanks to you after all. Let's let's do it. Let's spend some time. Wonderful. I have no idea if this is going to be an actual story thing or if it's going to be just emoting at each other. It's totally just emoting at each other. Okay. Got to build that relationship. Got to make a sound foundation of emotes. Who knew, who knew emotes were so sound and foundation-ish, but that's exactly what happened. That should push us up to where we need to be, though. For, uh, for the personal bond, right? No, we're actually away by six percent, eight percent. Damn it! Oh, but Bosnia and Lilka are ready to go though. We still have to burn a couple of days for. Um, yeah, because he's not over there. Could go. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to. Let's go talk to Winter. I'll have to motor her too. It's funny. These last few days have not really been much about. The battles, which is really like the, the big draw here, but the battles have gotten so trivial at this point that because, you know, we defeated that troll, no problem. Now, granted, we could go for the challenges and everything else, but mostly the rewards are not that great either, right? They're not, they're worse than the things that we can actually build for ourselves. We've already got everything we want structured the way we want, so I don't want to do anything else to it. Let's talk to... Um, let's go to Boz and Milka. Maybe we can actually do something there. I think it's just emoting each other again. Oh my. I think we're still like 8% away, right? Or no, here we go. Hello, you remember us, don't you, Baz? Mm. Well, the coins don't forget, especially the likes of you and your friend over there. Mm. He was Great right. Worth getting bad over. He was so goddamn right. Shut it, drunkard. Eve of the battle, and you do what? You get soft, you decide to grab a kid and think better of yourself, eh? Did you? Mm. And guess who shoulders the blame? That's right, us. But the good old captain never tolerated insubordination, did he? Cowardly Lottie would say. Guess what happened? We were using your baths. We had it all, guns, gold, and glory. And you ruined our careers forever, right there. Straight into cesspit. And what'd you get in return? A brat. A worthless parasite of a dwarf in an empty watering hole in the middle of nowhere, Bill. Was it worth it, Baz? Was it? Go oh, away, thuggish lot. You have no right to be here. Oh, I swear if I were fitter and younger, you'd do what, dwarf? Puff on my knees? Is he actually a dwarf? I guess he might be. He does have the stature, I suppose. Hey, Dad, sorry we're... Dad? Oh, for the love of... What the hell? This your kid, Baz? And who are you? Another orphan in Baz's little menagerie? Okay, you know what? Let's let's go for the Lord angle, even though it's not technically true. Holy balls. What's this, a blue blood guy in Russia Jill? Bah, cozy arrangement you have here, Baz. We are the mercenaries of the faded coins, at least we used to be. Now we're stuck doing grunt worth in the ass ends of this dumpy world. All thanks to your friend here. Thank you. Boz, Sir Aloran. Thank him. Wait, what? Wasn't well, it ages ago? Again, what the hell? Incidentally, Boz is really hard to find. Almost like he didn't want to be found, you know? But when we did, we decided to have our fun. One quick rumor here, an anonymous letter there, a leaflet of faded coins, and it worked, I reckon. How do you feel, Boz? But now we finally have this splendid opportunity to explain everything between ourselves. Like men. No more hiding, Boz. I'm gonna need a frickin' drink. Can't be so happening. So pointless. No, stop. Leave pa Papa alone. He will totally tear you apart limb from limb. Papa. Ah. Hey, Boz. Think your daughter would mind if I told her about some of your more ju juicy war achievements? Mm. I finally found your marbles, big guy. Come on, then. Take everything from us, yeah? Now we'll take everything from you. Please. I'm just saying she's telling her papa to stop. Does she know he's going to tear them apart? Just what? Why? Why are you weirdos even doing this? Leave my dad alone. The situation appears to be approaching critical mass, and so I have to say something. 
Do you know such a thing? No. Not a challenge of a duel. That's not going to do me any good. I am Kay of House Lauren, the terrible and cruel ruler of Ascalia. Make a single move against this man or his family, and gods be my witness. You will hang dangling from your own miserable intestines. Uh, what? <laughs> you can't do that. Mercenaries don't belong under your silly laws. Um, as people on my land, you kinda do. Ah, uh, but haven't you said you're not members of the coins anymore? If that isn't enough, for whatever stupid reason you decide to disobey me and go after him anyway, remember, I will seek you out and make your life a living hell. Are we clear? Whoa, hold on for a sec. This isn't really my cup of toffee. For revenge, let's go. What, what, the coins? Shut it. You and your dumb coins nostalgia. Time to find a proper job, lad. And he ran away. Wait for me. Yeah, good one. Okay, well, that was done without violence. Threats of violence, sure, but without any actual violence. Hopper, are you all right? Mm. Kind of expecting him to talk, but I guess that'd be a little bit too much to ask for. That's what you were worried about? Those wackos from your old job? Doesn't matter. Why should it matter? You're here now, and you have me. Cheer up. Business is a wasting, right? Mm. Aw, he smiled. Thanks. You too, mister. Thanks for being there. Yes, being important helps. Sounds good to me. Happy ending for once, yeah. We're doing pretty good on those happy endings. Another day gone, right? One midnight gone. Yep, personal bond grows stronger, which is great. You can just tick those off. Um, Not quite the pier yet, because we still have two days left. Let's talk to Theo. We can find out what his hairdressing thing is all about. Assuming we can actually do it. How close are we on that, by the way? Eight percent. We're just gonna emote. That's fine. Spend the day emoting. <laughs> Fantastic! Wonderful! Okay, so we'll just emote each, each other, but this should be the last one. Emote, 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 emote. There you go. Trying to still be scary, huh? Maybe he'll pick up some things. You never know. 11 days. Theo's down here. We can definitely talk to him. Let's find out what his hairdressing thing's all about. Hello? <laughs> Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, Theo, you and me. What are we going to do? What are we doing today, Theo? Oh, for the love of... All right, sir, you're done. Dare I say you look devilishly fabulous now? Next, please. Yo. Okay, it is the Monsters of the Realm. Okay, I'm so happy you were so right. It's a matter of changing the approach. See, if I can't hairdress people because of my condition, then perhaps I shouldn't target people at all. Monsters, pets, and animals is where it's at. No offense, sir. What was it again? Mohawk? Spectacular. Now let's look for a nice hair color for you. So, what do you think? That's awesome. We've actually managed to pull it off. Congratulations, Theo. <laughs> Thank you, but that's just a 10%, really. The remaining 90, the true arduous role to fulfilling my dream, that was all you, my friend. You managed to make it happen. Now I can ply my trade completely undisturbed. In your face, Dad. Ah, if only you could see me now. I'm sure, you'd be proud of you, one way or the other. Hardly, but that doesn't matter. You're a true friend, Kay. I never forget this. Okay, so we totally didn't make it just so he was hairdressing to the monsters like we thought, but animals and various things around the kingdom. That's actually kind of a neat idea. Okay, so he's done. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's talk to Griff. Let's see what all the secrets is about. If it turns out to be a party. I'm going to be a little miffed. Werewolf, I would actually kind of respect him for, but... All this for a party. We'll see. Maybe it's none of the above. Maybe none of the above. What do you got, Griff? Me, Griff. Mighty fine weather. Is it not, Mango Master? Mm-hmm. I would say the Clement and Rashiel is most agreeable. Perhaps we should organize a festival one of these days. Sure, Lady Ellie would be delighted with that idea. Okay. Yeah, sure she would. Look, Rivet, I we need to talk. Young Master? This isn't going to be easy, but as a ruler, I can't shy away from certain revelations. Alas, I can't end in any other way but confrontation. I don't understand what you mean. You will in a second. Explain to me this. <laughs> I like the sound there. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh no! How did you? Uh... So sorry, Griffith. That, this young master, allow me to explain. I'm afraid this speaks for itself. All of my efforts, you were not supposed to find this. All my subterfuge, and all under my nose. Why me? I'm not the bad guy here, Griffith. You know me. I can understand many things. Give it another year or so, and I'm pretty sure nothing will faze me anymore. Just how it is with our family. But really? Pewter toy soldiers? No, no, not toy soldiers, sir. Miniature wargaming. You take two armies, put them in ranks and formations, and even give them equipment. They even have named hero units. See, for example, the one you're holding is Werner Karl, the four chosen sword emperor of Kotschfagurg? Kotschfagurg? Nope, I can't do it. Can't do it. You've defeated me. You know, wargaming is actually kind of cool. Kind of an awesome hobby. Expensive as fuck, but really impressive as how detailed the miniatures can get, detailed the scenarios can get. It's actually kind of cool. Why are you looking at me like that? That's, wow, just wow. Not to mention that the guy was so important. How did you not know that he was missing? Right? You should have gone through your collection and go, oh shit, I'm missing the Lord. I feel like Gwen would have a field day with this. Everyone needs a hobby, right? You're absolutely right, Griffith. I'm totally on board with that. At least tell me you don't have a body pillow, a Signy, hidden under your bed or whatever. That would be creepy as fuck. He works with Signy side by side every day. If that was true, I'd be very, very concerned. <coughs> really? Master. Young master? Please, I have my standards. All right, this is niche. But I guess I don't mind. Why should I anyway? No need to hide this stuff from me, you hear? We're friends. Carry on. My gods, thank Wait, you. That was what this thank was all you about. Hundred times. So then the things interrupting our sparring matches were just matches with other war gamers in the kingdom? That's nothing. I thought you were a fucking werewolf. So I'll be off then. Huh? Yes, Griffith. Not a word to let you go in? Not a word. Thank the gods. <laughs> She can be a little cruel sometimes. I can totally understand him not wanting her to find out. It's fine. It's fine. Personal bond grows stronger. All right. Every deadline approaching. We have everything set. We're going to get kicked out of the kingdom. Let's just let it happen. Um. So. We can go on one last adventure. How about that? We'll go to finish up her thing. Let's do it. Let's do one last adventure. And burn like five days to do it. We'll venture forth. For great we move Do I have we have to? Okay, so with the people we have there, we can go down south. The unearth ruin. Yeah, that's gonna burn all the days. That is gonna do all the days. Alright. Venture forth. As described by Miri, you navigate an unpleasant desert stretch of sinkholes and canyons. True to her directions, after some searching, you stumble upon a half uncovered cavernous passage. Further along the way, you descend to the bottom of a secluded valley with scarce tendrils of light coming from the fissures above. There, enshrined in rows of crumbling columns, you find a half-collapsed ancient structure. Well, let's do this. Even for your untrained eye, it's highly doubtful this structure served as a tomb, especially given how much of it incorporates dubious shapes and sizes. For one, the structure seems to be made of smaller, aggregated seg segments, with some sort of now-crumbled watchtower protruding from its side like an unwanted extrescence. Its coarse sandstone walls are covered in weathered primitive imagery. Serpents, cattle, and turtles seem to be widely represented. Why were these even painted on the exterior parts of the dwelling, you have no idea. In absence of other possibilities, the closest thing that might be a door is a towering triangle plate on the walls of the central lock code. Alright, let's examine the plate. Composed of many interlocking, interconnected layers, the plate's bronze surface is decorated lavishly with small etchings and reliefs. From what you can tell, these images tell a story and they all seem to be centered around three circular indentations near the vertices. These, in turn, are further surrounded by three smaller sliding plates, each bearing a different symbol. Finally, the center point of the triangle is adorned with the symbol of a serpent's head. On further examination, the head appears to click on touch. Hmm. I mean, we should definitely press it, but we should look at things first. Look at the lower left first. The front of this invitation shows a scene. A pair of elderly women assists a younger woman. She appears to be laying in bed in her hand. She's cradling a baby. Okay, I can kind of see, like, the sapling going there, right? Because it's the start of life. 
right click okay so let's look at the lower left oh wait sorry did that did that hold on sorry that was lower left um topmost flexing figure with a book in one hand spear in the other book in one hand spear in the other skull i have no idea and then the lower right Saddened crowd, this lower space is in their hands, standing around man sized mountain jar. That should actually be skull. Yeah, so skull there. And then look at the middle one again, topmost one rather. And put the wings there. And now we press the serpent symbol. Nothing happens. Alright, we can switch those around though. So lower left. Whoops. Actually, wings in there? No, 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 no. I think that was still right. I think that was still sapling. All right, then we put the skull on the topmost one. And then the wings when they're buried, right? Because they get turned into angels or something. I don't know. Make stuff up, but sure. Nothing happens. Damn it. It's these puzzles where I don't have enough information. It's like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? <sighs> so, lower left indentation is the cradling of baby. I don't know, wings here? Seems super strange to put skull here. Because how does that... We can go wings here. Okay. Then for the topmost... I guess this one could still be skulls. Maybe. And then the lower right would be the sapling instead. Because it's the beginning of new life, I guess? I don't know. I'm making stuff up. Everyone said, well, nothing happens. Okay, center point of the triangle is adorned with the symbol of the serpent head. It's not the sapling. Or maybe it is, just one of these is wrong. I just don't know which one. But it seems like only one of these goes to one of the images. I must be doing something wrong. I'm going to look it up. It's stupid, and I hate to cheat for this, but the, the puzzle makes no goddamn sense. We had the other one that didn't make any sense, and it had to be done like a certain order. We're going to do Regalia, and this is Cold Storage. I hate looking this up on the wiki because it just seems dumb, but... Um, so there is a Steam community th thread just for this. It all goes... Okay, sapling for the baby, skull for the sound crowd, wings for the book. We did that. Okay, so sapling for the baby. Topmost is he gets wings. And the bottom one where they're saddened, get the skull. That makes perfect sense. The works now gonna be a little mad. Of course it works. Okay, numerous plates and layers. It's possibly because I got, went back and then adjusted it instead of going back to the top. That seems to be the common problem with this is that you need to go back to the top for each one of these. So that's weird, but I guess also expected. All right, with one final screech of mechanical pain, the doorway opens and... Inside you find something, a very lonely, very singular something, unlike any treasure you've seen before. Lit by a sprawling on an artificial skylight, a small bent object rests on a marble dais. They have absolutely no idea what purpose it could serve. It seems like its safety was deemed important for some reason. Eight rusted chains keep it affixed to the wall, but given their current state, the removal should be laughably easy. Either way, the next step is now in Mary's hands. You know, take the object. No point in standing around. You carefully remove the chains and take the object. Whatever it is, you're sure Mary will make something of it. Okay, now we go back, though I'm pretty sure this is going to take the rest of the days. One, two, three, 
Four. So close. We get just enough time to hand this over to Mirin, and that's going to be it. That is going to be it. Hey, Miri, we got your thing. So I'm back from the yard stretch. How was it? Eh. Don't think it was a tomb. If it was, the inhabitants either went shopping or did a terrific job of hiding from us. Also, there were no funerary objects of any sort. Hmm. Also, no bodies? Additionally, I'm not sure it was a temple either. Rather, it appears to be some sort of vault. A vault? Yes, I think it was meant to house this. Oh my. I tell you anything? Hmm. Well, I just did my best Sulu impression. Hmm. Amazing. Very interesting. Oh, what is it then? I have no idea. Uh. Thank you. Looks like a pipe? A horn? The shape is quite puzzling. What was it used for, I wonder? If it wasn't for the fact that you discovered it in an age-old ruin, I'd compare it to one of those gaudy souvenirs you can get for half a kiffin on a stall in Caldaria. Great. All that trouble for a portable slice of kitsch. Uh no. Well, not at all. I'm sure this thing some serves some greater purpose. We just can't see it yet. Give me some time. I'll cook something up. Sadly, sure, if you don't some magnificent work again, Kay, you say that. Thanks, that's great. But we're never gonna know because we're about to be kicked out. It's gonna happen. Personal bond grows stronger, but the day we're gonna have to burn a day. That sucks. Um, can we burn a day? Sadly, I don't think our personal bonds are going to be doing much else. Uh, we could emote at winter for a day. You know what? Let's do it. What the hell? It's our last day as rulers of the kingdom. Let's go ahead and just emote at winter. Hello. It's been time. Okay. Our last day as king. There you go. Now all emoted out. No? Had two more left in you. There you go. Okay, that's it. Here we go. Oh no. Uh Yeah, why would he? After all, we're not related, nothing here. Nothing keeps him here anymore. Yeah, the it's like the grandfather knows. Well, nobody's why he shouldn't, right? <sighs> Chapter 6 complete. Huzzah, I guess. For what it's worth, though. Right. Dismissed. Nothing matters anymore. <sighs> okay. That's it, though, right? I see this all wrap up. Slowest walkers ever. There we go. Hello. Um, apparently I can't hear anything they're saying. Maybe this is Kay looking over the battlements down to his sister walking around. He stares off in the darkness. I have no idea what the hell that was all about. Griffith told me you'd be here. He also said you asked him to leave you alone. That, by the way, was two days ago. <sighs> How long are you planning to sulk here? <sighs> Forever, maybe? Isn't that what you wanted? To leave this place behind? After all the work you put in? No, not anymore. I guess what I want and what I need are two different things right now. I wonder, did father know? Or at the very least, how much? Why didn't he tell us? Was all of this just a prank for the sake of the past? Of course not. No matter what, dad always believed in you. How can you say such things? There are no heroes, Ellie. We were just stand-ins and meat shields for the true heir. It was always meant to be a doomed endeavor. And now we have nothing. Not even a place to call home. Ah, right. Slight correction, we do have something. A huge debt with no end in sight. Because that's still on us. <laughs> Actually, how is that still on us? We did that in the name of House Lauren. If we're not part of House Lauren, then fuck it. We just walk away. You're wrong. We do have a home. This is our home. Ellie, please stop. Ugh, just get a grip already! Ellie... We're a family. There's you, there's me, there's Gwen, and there's Griffith. When did that change? Why does it matter what our name is? All these people here? You gave them something real. You gave them homes and lives. They came and you welcomed them. They asked and you listened. You were there for them. 
In two years, you've done for them more than any real Lauren in centuries. Doesn't that mean anything? <sighs> Remember what Grandpa said? He never was our grandfather. Grandpa said, a king is nothing without his subjects. True wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. And yet you want to throw it all away? Just like that? Maybe Karen will be a better ruler. Which wouldn't be all that difficult. A quin dung, to put it mildly. A quin? Isn't it a quine? I guess maybe just not a pronunciation. All right, never mind. The letters are pouring in from all over Rashtil. He's slow to move towards Ascalia itself, but he has already made a huge show in some of the smaller settlements. My favorite part would be when he lynched the proprietor of a local alehouse over trying to charge him for a drink. Truly the mark of a reasonable man. Surely you can feel the unrest even here in the town. Everyone's afraid of what is to come. So they all know? Naturally. Karen is not a subtle person, and, well, you have been rather unsociable these last couple days. They're worried about you, Kay. And they trust you. Will you let that trust down? You're trying to mold me into something I'm not. Who am I to decide? Do you expect me to defy the rightful king of this land? There is a difference between a king and a tyrant. You know, enough people get on this pier, it's gonna collapse. I, mean, I guess we did upgrade it recently, so maybe not. You were there with me, sire. That man does not engender trust. Putting it mildly, but okay, yes, true. From what I hear, that's putting it mildly. Okay, Gwyn and I are on the same page, which is always a little scary. Indeed. Why do you still follow me, Griffith? You were deceived just as we were, if not longer. I swore my oath to a man, not a name. I swore to guard you on everything he stood for. Justice, valor, and benevolence. And throughout all the time spent at your side, watching your actions, I have never regretted that oath. This tale has two endings, but I have no doubt that only one is worthy of the legacy of House Lauren. Yours. Griffith. Okay. These are the ones we have a confidant level with. That's why they the showed Duplin up, I think. The has proven himself a dragon in spirit. And just as the dragon has never left me, so shall I not leave him, yes? Our bond stands stronger than puny titles. If I had time to actually get confidant level with everybody, like with Baz and everybody else, it'd probably line up out of the, off the screen. Sadly, didn't have that kind of time, but still. I've been hounded all my life, you know. Thanks to you, that's old news. I have a home now. It's my turn to repay the favor, don't you think? Everyone. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Thank you. I know you. And you all know me. You know, I'm not really used to making these grand corny speeches, even if it's what you're expecting right now. But you also know that so far I haven't let you down. I may not be a Lorne, but right now it doesn't matter. This is my home. Our home. We built it together bit by bit. It wasn't easy, but we're still afloat. I have no idea what fate holds in store for us. And for all I know, it can get grisly. All we can do right now is prepare. But hey... This is it. This is the end game. Let's do this! Okay, all we have to do is complete the last quest. So we're not actually done yet, but it is the last quest ever. Or at least as far as I know. Maybe not, but... Start it? Like, really close to the end of the episode? We have 50 days to do it. Thing is, I don't know how what it's going to take. How do we do it? I guess we go to our quest markers and see. So, quests. of men and monarchs. Prepare for the final battle. He's arrived with demand of Rashtil to submit unconditionally to his rule, but your friends and allies are going to accept you as their king. You should not go down without a fight. Whatever the outcome, let's clear the things and don't be the same. I don't know what preparation means. Maybe we just... Well, we can't just wait for it, because we have to complete that quest, so... 
We go somewhere? For great! We move Do I have Let to? Back. Maybe? 50 days seems like a long time, but it's not really. Okay, so there's this thing over here. That's the meltdown site. That's just going to be there forever now. I don't see... I don't see anything I can go to. I think we do have to wait. That seems so weird, though. That's very puzzling. Why do we have to wait for it? Just sitting here for another 50 days, and we could build up our relationships for sure. Um, let me see what our levels are. Levels, we're level 18. We could go elsewhere and get those final two levels. I mean, we're pretty close to leveling up right here now. And we don't need any more Kingdom Quest done. It just says complete the objective, but there's no... doesn't seem to be a way to do it. How do we do that? Because there's nothing on the map. There's no exclamation points here. I'm just a little puzzled how that's supposed to work. Let's, let's burn a day and see if that improves anything. So let's go, like, talk to Winter. We motored her before, which means we should be able to get her up to confidant level or something. Okay. All that trekking and tumbling. You can feel the blisters forming already. Boulder by the minute! Part of the fun. Schist happens, right? Oh, ha ha. Schist is a type of stone. Very funny. <laughs> I suppose, yes, next time I'll have to be bolder, so I won't soil the moot. Eh, soil's a rough one there. Didn't do a type of rock, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you crag me up. That's actually great. By the way, I forget, have you named him already? Who? The guy I gave you? Uh, no, not yet, but I'm wearing him right now. I was even thinking of something together. I'm good at that kind of thing. Well, the guys were happy to get a visitor. Um. Oh, neat! Let's go. Sure, why not? Let's go name him. Well, are you coming? Ah, hell. Oh, come on. It's a, it's a cute gift. The junk trinket, but it's a cute gift. Okay, so we must have done that, I suppose. Yeah, personal bonds grow stronger. It's maxed out. Okay. So, how are we supposed to complete this quest, though? Again, no exclamation points. Men and Monarchs. Let's look at the quest again. Maybe there's a... Just prepare for the final battle, but I don't know what that exactly means. I guess we just... We just do whatever we can. I guess. Yeah. There's no, Why is there two Undaunted here? Oh, I see. Okay, because it was lead up, I guess. There's two cold storages as well. I don't know. It's all weird. Yeah, some of these are repeated, some of them aren't. They're completed, though. Yeah, completed quests. Completed adventures. Yeah, alright, so we're good. Yeah, I think we just wait the 50 days. So, we can burn through some days pretty fast just by traveling around. Um... Burn some days by going to the smithy and getting everybody. We get most people up to confidant status, I think. He should be pretty close. Uh... I don't think we're actually there yet for him, but we're probably just going to moat here. We might be only one away. There's Gunther. There you go. And let's look at the confidant levels now. Yeah, he's ready to level up. We should be able to talk to him. Yeah, there he is. All ready to go. We can get him to confidant level. Max him out. Oh, you know what? That'll give us the better weapons, too. Well, give us option to build better weapons.
We might have to do a dungeon in order to get the equipment we need. Uh, hello there. Gone through around, we're supposed to meet here. Nah. Are you sure I haven't seen? Coming through. Hello. Oh, so sorry for being late. I'm feeling serious hours in the overtime to make you this friendship bracelet. What is this? Some sort of accessory? That's a bracelet. A friendship bracelet. Magnificent, isn't it? Huh? Friendship bracelet? <laughs> Indeed, I made it just for you as a token of my heartfelt appreciation for our bond. Mind you, this is unusual from the craft I normally do. It's made of the finest steel and unmost passion. So you haven't put a little engraving here. To my best friend, Kay. Stay magnificent, Gunther. <laughs> Why is there a little heart on it? Do you like it? All my soul, all my appreciation for our friendship lies in this little piece of metal. Go ahead, put it on. Come on, go ahead, Kay. Do it. Oh, happy, happy joy. Oh. Better than I, what I expected. You're so moved you can barely speak. Oh, the joy. I'm moved to tears myself. This is yours. They flow. I now go there. Don't stop me. You've done so much for me and Heinrich. It's the forge, the inspiration, the friendship. Heinrich thanks you, friend. I, Heinrich still <laughs> talks about that day when you came to his rescue. So brave and manly. <laughs> no, don't sell yourself short. This is the least I could do. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you, your true friend. The magnificence. magnificence. Okay, well, we gotta wear this one too, right? Can't show favoritism over winter. Or one over the other, even. That should be... Yep, it's maxed out. Okay. So, we gotta do our character. I have the iron chain. Nope, not anymore. Now we have... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, don't tell me I can't actually use it. It's not here. It's not here. The friendship blade says we can't equip it. It's not. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's too bad. Okay. Um, Boz, we might be able to do something with. I know we're running a little over time. Let's just do this really quick. Boz and Luka. Um, though I think... Hold on. Don't we already have them mixed out? Am I wrong about that? Oh yeah, they are... Oh no, not quite. Not quite. We can get some more DLC up from them. Just spend some time with them then. You know, go away. Here we go. Spend time, we will emote. Okay, so as we emote, thank you guys for watching. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.